certainly uh, all of us who are interested in search are interested in getting beyond the simple text search that uh, has been so powerful up until now. So Google is quite interested in being able to, as are others, in, uh, in, in comparing uh, images and trying to find similarity between images. Google Goggles, if you've uh, seen uh, some of our uh, videos, allows you to take an image, uh, maybe with your mobile or something else, and then search our databases for similar kinds of images. For example, if you take a picture of a book, if we have that book in the database, we'll search for the book cover, and then we'll be able to tell you who wrote the book and where is it available and how much does it cost and what are its, uh, what's the subject matter. Uh, or maybe it's an image of a famous landmark like the Taj Mahal or the uh, Eiffel Tower. You can take a picture of that and search the database and get more information about it. Or maybe even a barcode uh, which can be recognized in a database fairly simply. Uh, we work very hard at Google on speech recognition. Uh, we've tested this in many different ways, but people who are using hands-free mobiles often find it easier to surf the net orally rather than trying to uh, type things in uh, uh, by uh, texting and keyboards. Uh, Patty May showed an absolutely wonderful example of gestures, and I, th I have a, uh, some of you have probably seen this uh, video from Ted. Uh, later on, I'll pull it up just for a few minutes to uh, see what was happening there. But the idea is that uh, instead of carrying um, a, a textbook-style uh, uh, laptop or something, uh, you all you just have a, a video uh, receiver, a camera, uh, and a projector. The camera can see what you're doing. It can see gestures, and it can respond to them. It's, it actually puts the computer into the same environment that you and I normally interact with, uh, putting the computer into a position to uh, use the same kind of inputs that we use in order to work with the real world.